It's Tuesday morning. Got Brody here, Denny here. Denny is going to be staying here with the boys. I am going to be heading out with Hudson for a couple of doctor's appointments. She's in there getting a bath from Alicia, who was going to be heading out with me for these appointments, but uh, when she woke up today at her house, as she was leaving, she thought, oh, the carpet's kind of wet right here. And then she looked up and her ceiling was dripping and they have broken plumbing in their ceiling. So she's got to figure out a plumber. Okay, felt like doing something different with my hair today and not wearing a hat. I'm about due for another haircut. And then on top of that, um, leaving a little bit early. It takes 30 minutes to get downtown, but I'm going to be leaving an hour before heading for downtown because apparently the president. <laughs> So apparently the president is in town today, downtown, which is where I'm headed, which means I've got to uh, go a different way. We'll just put it that way. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a little insane getting to the appointment. Hi, shit. Appointment at 11 a.m. and then the next one's at 1.45. The first one is just going to be a bone density scan in radiology which is going to take probably no time and then we're going to have this big window of waiting. So I guess lunch is at Children's Mercy today which is fairly inexpensive and I like their food. I haven't eaten there in a while. Then after that we got to stop at the pharmacy and pick up some more of her prescription which isn't a medicine, it's her phosphorus. It's an additive for her blended diet. Anyway, while I'm gone, then he's Oh my gosh, this weekend's been insane. While I'm gone, Denny's gonna take the boys to McDonald's. They're very excited. Brody especially, he loves McDonald's. Dominic, he's a Wendy's guy. I haven't vlogged for the weekend. Well, you know what, they're gonna get everybody done. I'm gonna get loaded up. And then uh, we'll have this conversation on the drive. Oh, had a bit of, I haven't even gotten to put my sunglasses on. Had a bit of chaos. Getting loaded up in the van. My, uh, Alicia was helping me load Hudson. Dominic was just a machine gun of, of talking and yelling for, for really no apparent reason. Daddy, daddy, tell, I wanna tell you a secret. I wanna tell you a secret. And very like emergency-fied there. Is that a word? What? When you're gone, can you make sure and tell Hudson that she's cute? Okay, I'm glad that was emergency. It was really cute. But, and then in the meantime, my phone starts ringing and it's Children's Mercy. I take that. It's the urology clinic and they wanted to do a little Q&A before the visit, which is really weird because the visit is today, but whatever. So I've been on the phone for half the drive right now with them and now we have a chance to talk was i i was gonna tell you guys so i had i didn't film much well i did film some stuff over the weekend i tried to start a vlog and then so many things happened jay came to visit for the weekend from st louis while casey's gone to milwaukee and of course brody is here for the weekend watching him we had a nice time hanging out together jay came up on and stayed friday and saturday and crazy thing is sa saturday so Let's put it this way, it's been a weekend, well, you know what, if this gets demonetized, I just don't care at this point. I have to say this, it was a really crappy weekend. We had a nice time, but it was a crappy weekend. I uh, put Domic and Brody in for a nap. Domic's on the top bunk, Brody on the bottom, and Brody says, if we have to go to the bathroom, can we get up to go to the bathroom? And I said, yes, but don't wake up the other guy if you have to get up to go. They're in there for two hours. I come in there to wake him up and Dominic's sitting on the top bunk and I can smell it. He looked a little muddy. We'll just put it that way. He says, daddy, I pooped the bed. What? Like, why did you do that? He said, you told me I couldn't get up because I would wake up Brody. That's not what I said, but that's how he heard it. And apparently he had to go pretty bad because it was everywhere. It was, uh, it looked like this. I didn't get any pictures of him because I was busy lifting him up, carrying him and putting him in the bathtub. Got him undressed and 
sprayed off and then it was I had to bleach the tub I got the sheets pulled in the sanitary wash on those it was insane not a good time we got it cleaned up and then on Sunday Jay was heading out around around noon or so and then the neighbors we had planned to do three different neighbors have flat top grills now so we joked around about having a hibachi day. Well, we had a hibachi night, which was a blast. And so here's some footage of, of that. Try to get over the rice kernels for the So you can see it was like, what an awesome setup. I love my neighbors, having a great time. And then I was doing some filming and I was gonna film all the cool stuff because we're gonna do the tricks and we'll try to do the tricks. And, and, uh, and my neighbor was definitely gonna do the flaming onion volcano thing. You know, we were gonna have this great time and just film this vlog for the day with Hibachi night. And then while filming, this happened. It's a hot one. It's a hot one. Got that chicken going right there. I think he's getting ready to do the volcano there. If Dan not, Black. it's... Uh, and so you can see she started screaming there and I threw the... just threw my camera down and and uh, grabbed her and I picked her up and my neighbor Dana says oh Dan she, she I think she pooped and I put her back down she had a chuck so I put her back down in the chair with her chuck but then I look down and I am covered my whole shirt my pants there's poop all down the front of me and we're half a block away from the house so my neighbor Leland pushed Hudson's wheelchair back down to the house as I walked with poop all over me and we got to the house and he hung out with her while I changed my clothes and washed my leg off and everything and then came in and told him thank you and then changed Hudson's it was we got it done then went back down and had a nice time eating dinner but I kind of just gave up on filming the vlog for the day I just felt really defeated for the weekend <laughs> so so that's why you hadn't seen anything from the weekend because it was just a really crappy weekend that we had a nice time just spent Monday hanging out uh, Denny and I did some yard work and Ashley came by and hung out with Hudson downstairs and just I, I didn't film for the weekend but I figured I'd give you a catch-up so all right, we are getting close to downtown. I've got to stop for gas and then get our, we're running pretty early, like I said, and it's been uh, not really a problem with traffic right now, so I think we're doing okay. We'll sign this back in at the hospital. Three, two, one, go. Well, he uh, made it in plenty of time. Had a little chaos at the gas station. Shooky Bears, are you ready for this? This is gonna be simple, simple day, right? Okay, we got her checked in, and then uh, she's got her little bracelet here, which this is the first time that they said, uh, here, here it is. <laughs> and so I'm going to uh, attach it to her chair, and that should save us some time today. That was easy. Just a table, and it moved around, and we repositioned her a couple of times. We were in and out of there in, what, 10 minutes? Maybe 15 minutes? And then we headed to the cafeteria, and I had a turkey burger with some fries, and Hudson had a nap. <laughs> but it's kind of chilly in there, and it's kind of chilly in the hospital, so we came outside. There is this nice area that's, uh, well, it's a chapel inside there. We're sitting out here where it's it's nice and warm. It's not hot, so we're warming up 
warming up our skin out here. Um, it is just now coming up on noon, and we're not gonna go get the van out of valet and go do anything. We're just gonna hang around here. So we're just gonna chill out here. Well, warm out. We might go wander around. Maybe we'll hit the gift shop or something, right? But for now, we're just gonna hang out in, in the sunshine. In the shady sunshine. Look at that thing. I wish it was a little windy to see it, see it work. Hudson and I both had to have a bathroom break. And so we came in here to the changing room. And so they have an adult uh, sized changing table that folds down and it will raise up and down. It's got instructions for that there and a cleanup area next to it and a toilet chair and an accessible toilet and accessible sink and an automatic door and it's pretty cool. This was a big deal they put in. They put this in a couple of years ago. I mean and that's you take that off to cover the yeah it's pretty cool. So we still have an hour to wait for this next appointment so we're just wandering around now just we wandered around the gift shop. Okay we're gonna get out of here. You ready to get out of here Hudson? We're gonna go for a walk. We got to thinking while we were wandering around and realized that the other pharmacy we usually go to that we were going to have to stop by on the way home, they have a pharmacy here. They're the same pharmacy. They're just different locations and they're not too far away. So I thought, why not check and see if they can bring the prescription to this pharmacy or fill it at this one. And that way we don't have to make an extra stop. We don't have to unload over at the Broadway clinic. We could just get it before we leave here. So we're, we're saving time. We're not wasting time, right? <laughs> Full of action today, aren't you? Yeah. Had that nap, and now you're all active. She's doing her crunches over here. You do your crunches. Are you growling at me? Are you growling? <laughs> you're able to get it filled. And now we have, we have wandered through the maze and we found our way clear into the blue zone for the urology clinic. And it's like way over. I feel like we're in the oldest. It even smells old over here. I think we still have another 40 minutes before, but we checked in early. Just in case we can get in early, get done early, get home early. Excuse me. Okay, that was... Uh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Hi, Hudson. Feeling good? And we now know how to cat. So we are, we are in a good mood. I'm honestly kind of uh, surprised by, uh, my, with my reaction because I'm very relieved. Let's put it that way. I was, uh, I was actually a little nervous about having to do this and it was much easier than I thought it would be. So if you have, uh, if you have a situation in your future where you're going to have to have to cath. Um, don't be, don't be too nervous. It's it's a little easier than than I thought it would be. In fact, a whole lot easier. And you're good to go, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rush home and relieve Denny from hanging out with those crazy boys. I'm hoping that everything's gone good for him. Casey's coming home tonight, so I'm pretty happy about that. And we gotta hope the traffic leaving downtown isn't too bad. So it's a whole day later and I just realized that I didn't vlog anymore and I forgot to close out the vlog. So I, uh, I'm gonna film this right now and say uh, Casey got home and the kids are all fine and, and that's it. <laughs> so remember guys, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world and now you can buy these shirts and there's no minimums that have to be met. So you can just like go on and get a shirt whenever you want. You can go to seethesightsfam.com 
and click the merch tab and you can find these shirts available all the time. So that's cool. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to join the Hopesters, then click the little purple and white link that's down here. And if you want to watch yesterday's episode, try the link that's right over here. And if you want to watch one that YouTube picks for you, then click the one down here. And I hope we see more of you seeing more of us.